Hi, my name is John. This is my service coordinator, Amy. I'm here to tell you about um, how I was homeless and how it is now that I have a house over my head. Um, Amy has been wonderful for me. I mean, she's shown me a better light, a better day. Um, I became homeless because I grew up in a rough neighborhood, a, gro a, a rough atmosphere. Um, the girlfriend that I was with cheated on me, and I ended up starting my life over. I ended up over the bridge, under the Liberty Bridge, and I went to a homeless shelter, and they got me in contact with Amy, and it's been roses ever since. I mean, what can I say? I wake up in a bed now, and not under a bridge, and looking at rats. Now I wake up with my dog licking me in my face because he needs to go to the bathroom. I mean, how much better can I say? John, tell us a little bit about your goals now. See, my goal is to actually work with troubled teens and um, actually show troubled teens that you don't have to give up on life, no matter what kind of ball, hard balls come your way. You can always either duck, get back up, and keep on walking, or you can just lay down and let the world take over. But see, I'm taking the world over. It ain't taking me. So, John, how old were you when you became home? See, I've been homeless truly since I've been about 18 years old. Um, I grew up in an atmosphere where there was drugs, alcohol, um, there was everything around that you should not be around and I wanted to get out of that atmosphere so I left but I had nowhere to go. At first I would stay at this aunt's house, that friend's house, this friend's house and before you know it I ended up having nowhere to go, I was under a bridge. and. I, like I said, I went over to the homeless shelter over north side, and they contacted me with you. And before you know it, I was in your program five months later, and now I have a house over my head. I have no words to explain how thankful I am. If I remember correctly, John, you were working when you were uh, homeless, correct? Yeah, that is correct. I was working for the Post Gazette. I was actually just standing around trying to sell papers. It wasn't great income, but it was something to help me survive out in the streets to at least get me something to drink or a hot coffee or something to eat and I tried to save my money but when you're homeless it's very hard to save because you have to live day by day and truly day by day. John, do you remember how we met right at the spot when we were delivering papers? Yeah, I do. We came up, uh, we sat in the car and we looked up houses, we looked up at landlords who would work with us and we got really lucky and found a good landlord who found you a really pretty good efficiency apartment. Um, I can remember that day meeting you. We didn't know who each other were, you know, who we were, but you said, I'm going to be the one delivering papers. So we did find each other. We sat in the car, we worked on it together, and we met about once a week. Yeah. And then once you got housing, we meet, what, every two weeks. Uh, tell me more about your goals. See, my goals, honestly, is to get more education in my life. Um, I would love to just, how can I explain, own my own home one day. Not need help, you know, through the program. The program's given me that help, that foot that I need in the door. Now it's my job to take it above that. And that's all I needed was just that chance. And Yins are giving me that chance, and I want to thank you. John, I know you can do it. You've done, you've come so far in the past, what, year and a half that I've known you? Yes. I think you can do it. I really do. And you mentioned you wanted to go for education. What would yes. you like to learn? I would love to work with troubled teens, people who came through the same atmospheres that I came through. I mean, when you're younger, it's you, you hear somebody from colleges read, I mean, talk to you about problems, but it's different when you went through the problems they go through. People seem to listen to you more. And I just want to be that person that they can listen to, and I can show them a better light. Instead of them going into the darkness, I can show them the brightness. Well, you'd be a great example. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. If you were to tell somebody about the Chartier's Hesky program, what would you say? How would you explain it? What would you say that it's done for you? See, what I would exactly say is that the Hesky program has changed my life for the better. I don't have to wake up every morning not knowing what I'm going to do to take a shower, to wash my clothes, to even just understand where I'm going to eat that day. The Hestia program is me able to better my goals, like go back to school, um, let's say own my own home one day because I'm going to be able, when I start working again, save my money and be able to pay my own rent. So John, tell me, why is it important that you tell your story today? Well, because I want people to know that you're not the only one out there. You know, we all got a story to tell and mine's just a little story out there. and. I'm hoping somebody who's in this watching this program or seeing this website, they can actually see that there is help for people like us. Um, just give it a chance. Don't lay down. Get up. 